Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Really? Hello, come in! Come in! Strandberg is a lunatic. No, oh, he Whoa. is Captain. Look at this pottery. I mean, I'm not an expert. <laughs> That's not gonna work, buddy. Can't let you through. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to... Snail soup, snail soup. Soft and warm and help, help. We'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. What did General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> us? Look, if they do find out, you will be at our bottom. Told you something was up with this day, didn't I? I stared at the freakiest accent. Would not believe. Okay, I'll take care of it. Yeah, you owe me a drink.
done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. Job. Some soldiers back at the school. I've heard them talking. They have fake Crystal Dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot. Reminds me, I need more business cards. Let's get things rolling. Like I said, think about it. When brats like they play their games, there's always collateral no damage. Just make sure you're not in. to the printing press when we get back. I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, uh, I've got a contact with Shoot. Shoot. Let me just grab it and somebody will. You. It may take a while. Come back in, uh, ten minutes. Enough with the propaganda! Hello, you look clever. Are you a reader? You look like a reader. What about a nice new man? time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want hey, to tell keep Michael in the print. Greetings, Mr. Printman. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the merch attacks Lambert's prison train. Hey, print man. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what did he do? Prisoner. Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor, and that's all right. Attention, everyone! You men have done a fine job so far. Crystal Dawn are on everyone's lips. Hey, don't print anything you see around here. That is here, why right? we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. Hey, uh, printer.
print anything you see here, right? I told you. But they're really not into it, you know? It's the uniform. Chicks like nuts. Even if you bought them, kind of them. Oh, you're preaching to the choir. That's the way, sir. Yo, what's up, print boy? No, 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 you're not coming through here looking like that. You need to clean yourself up. Hey, Mr. Printer. I think that I will let you through here looking like that. What are you supposed to be anyway? You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg.
All respect to you. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known, well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald. It is. Believe me. Yeah, no, do not put me on hold. Don't think about cigarettes. Don't think about cigarettes. I control the habit, not the other way around. I control it. Don't think about cigarettes. Uh, yes, I'm still here, and I'm still not doing it. For politicians. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah Donald, I can't... No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. Hold on, I'm heading outside. Don Don Donald? Do Donald? Donald? Huh? Uh, sir, please, will you think of the planet? Huh. Cool. Hey, you seen Ramon? No? Uh, yes, probably sleeping hello. in a closet this somewhere. Is, well, I'm calling. Okay. This is not happening. Oh, that's not me. What is that? Hello. Central, do you copy? Yeah, kitchen is clear. Over. Nothing to report. Over and out. Hey, it's me. You probably want me to zip this one up, huh? Uh, all right, all right, that's what I thought. Uh, 
Okay, so this goes to that, and that goes to this. Terminated. You don't want to know. Connie Engstrom, monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. You wouldn't have any weapons on you, sir. No weapons allowed here, I'm afraid. Please go to the massage room. I can feel you're all man, if you don't mind me saying so. Okay, proceed. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, uh, people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see, easy money, that's all people care about. So they can drive their ridiculous urban SUVs and drink wine on a Thursday, on a Tuesday, whatever, and tell each other how they've made it. It's pathetic. I own a private jet. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Feeling relaxed today, sir? Huh? too. 